Hello my lovely people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jane. This is the first time that you are seeing me. Thank you so much for stopping by. My read on subscribers. I love you. Thank you. So I saw this emergency CPR thing. I just saw it and uh, my brother shared it. And uh, uh, the only way that I know now that I can share it for a lot of people to see it is what I am doing right here. And I am going to post it on my channel. And when you get it, share for others to get it this is a uh, emergency cpr like if you are alone and you notice that you are having heart attack the thing to do and uh before help get to you before helps get to you but for me to add to this uh, video too when you feel like you are having that you come closer to your door come closer to your door if you if you are conscious enough to start doing what he is going to teach you here to do come closer to your door open the door and then um, and leave it open if you can go out in your porch and start coughing when people are passing through they will see you start coughing start doing what he said to do but this is for emergency and you feel like something is wrong and another thing that that has happened that uh, my job before is when that happened you feel like your patient or somebody is having heart attack and there's nobody there to help you call a uh, yeah, 911 the first thing that they tell you to do is take baby aspirin that's what they tell you i am not telling you a big when it happened to my patient and i called so they said do you have baby aspirin in the house i said yes they say give him four four baby aspirin tell him to chew it so and they are on their way and that's what i did they say come out and stay next to the door and unlock it so that they don't have to go through breaking the door or doing everything and that's exactly what we did that's how i learned what i am telling you guys so please learn this learn this uh, and uh, you never know who this can save share it so others can learn thank you so much for watching I'm in that space right now. The first few seconds of a heart attack. And you could be driving down the road in the middle of a busy street. You are the first person who knows that you're having a heart attack. And there's no one who can help you faster than you can help yourself. When you're having a heart attack, you would have heard of CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. When we see somebody having a heart attack or we go to the emergency room of hospitals, we see paramedics or other people pumping people's chest. What are they doing? They're pumping the heart, trying to get it to pump again. They're massaging the heart. But when you're driving down the road, even if there are 500 vehicles around you, you are in the middle of the traffic. You're the only one who knows you're having a heart attack. And it's the first few critical seconds that can save your life. And if you don't have anybody with you, who you can tell that you're having a heart attack, what you can do is administer a self-CPR. Essentially, you need to do two things in administering CPR, whether to yourself or to someone else. You need more oxygen into your system and you need to massage your heart. How do you get more oxygen into your system? Breathing, right? Absolutely. Breathe hard. Almost taking in all the air deep down into your stomach so that as much air as possible gets into your system. Take deep breaths. Like so. And the second thing you need to do is cough. And cough from the bottom of your stomach as if you want to take your intestines out from your, from your mouth. <laughs> when you're coughing like that, what will happen is in the process of your coughing, your chest will constrict. And in the process of this constriction, it will massage your heart. So alternate breathing and coughing and keep doing that 
every two seconds, like so. <coughs> and keep doing that. In the process, you'll get more oxygen into your system. You're pumping your, massaging your heart. And while you're doing that, particularly if there are people around you, traffic around you, passes by around you, they'll figure out that there's something wrong. You're going through a problem and there'll be people who will come to help you. It is the first 10, 15, 20 seconds, which are the most critical when you're having a heart attack. And that's when you need to help yourself because you are the person who is the first to know that you're having a heart attack. So what do you do to administer a self CPR? Breathe deeply and cough from the bottom of your stomach. Practice it. It can happen to you.